Morning, Smarties, and happy Monday. It's Coach Steve here. And as promised, I'm going to be a bit more rigid in terms of my Monday motivation um, kind of every second week to make sure that we're pulling together and in, in terms of a squad, making sure we're hitting our training goals, make sure we're heading towards our big goals. So, and again, I'm using my own experience here about trying to get motivated as well. I'm coming off the back of a couple of injuries, but I've set myself a big, big goal. So that was kind of, well, two weeks ago about the motivation. The first thing you need is a big ass goal, something that scares you, something that you put in the diary, something you register for, something you pay for, because then it's locked in. It's not a, something that comes a commitment. It is a commitment. You're into it. You are going for this. You've paid the money. You are going to step up to the line. Now, that's fine. Good. And that's the first step. The next thing is how do you keep yourself accountable? Accountability is absolutely crucial in hitting your training goals, making sure you're getting up, you're getting into structure, you're making sure you're ticking off those weekly sessions, you're hitting, you're moving forward, you're progressing. One of the best tips I have for keeping yourself accountable is if you don't have a coach and you're just working off a plan, um, the coach will keep you accountable. As in, if they're doing their job, when you upload stuff, he'll tell you whether you've done it right or you've done it badly or you've skipped it. That's their job. That's my job for my one-to-one guys that I used to do. But if you're just in a plan or you're just training um, on your own, what you need then is an accountability buddy. What does this mean? This is someone who you are who you train with regularly or you're into triathlons. They, you, you, you talk endlessly about your race, Ultegra, all this sort of stuff. Turn that f- try friendship into something that keeps you accountable. Arrange to go for swims together. Arrange to go to the bikes together. Because when your accountability buddy's there, you're not going to let them down. When that alarm clock goes off, you go, oh, uh, maybe I'll do it later. Rubbish. Your mate is already up sitting outside on the bike in the winter gear you gotta you cannot let them down you cannot let yourself down and it doesn't have to be ideally it's a physical person that you meet and you arrange to do sessions or you do zwift meetups or whatever that you actually do training with right that's the kind of the real sweet spot but even if you can't um arrange that or your the tribe buddy is a bit far away Hold each other accountable, be it by a WhatsApp, be it by a text, be it by an um, email. Hey, guys, how did you get on today? And if you know, you have to admit to your accountability buddy that, you know, what, oh, it was dark. It was cold. I skipped my run session. And you have to know that they're going to turn out to it. I nailed my run session and I feel great. Get your accountability buddy in. Work out whatever structure systems, how you're going to keep each other on track and um, if there's a few, you make it a WhatsApp group um, if, uh, or it's a group ride or a group run. It also not only keeps you accountable, it keeps you motivated, but it's fun. Our, what we do is hard. A lot of people just wouldn't be even interested in sort of stuff we do. Make it social, make it fun, learn from another chat, etc. Keep yourself accountable. Keep yourself going forward. Trust in the process. The results will come, but keep motivated. Go get it. Hope you guys have a great week's training. I've already started. I've already got up. My accountability buddy made me get up and I was on the turbo at six o'clock this morning. And you know what? You feel great for doing it. Have a great week, folks.